Hi everyone, so I wanted to go over some terms with you now that we've been reading 1984 for a couple of weeks and we see what the world is like, I think it's important now to go through a few terms that are important. Um, one is utopia. So utopia comes from the Greek words O, O-U, which is not, and topos, meaning place. So utopia translates to being not a not place. So it's a place that doesn't exist. It's a place where there isn't war, there isn't hunger, there's no disease. Um, everyone's equal. Everyone has what they need to succeed. And everyone, everyone can prosper. Everyone can have a good life. And usually what happened, and then we have 1984, which we know is not a utopia. It is a dystopia. It's a dystopian novel. Um, and it comes from, dystopia comes from dis, meaning bad, and topos, meaning place. So it translates to a bad place. Oftentimes with the dystopias, the aim was to create a utopia, but it fails. And the world is messed up. And we see that with 1984 where everyone is equal, everyone wears the same things, everyone has the same amount of food, everyone has um, this in the party, the we're not going to talk about the pearls, because they're they're not in the party. Um, But everyone has the same things. But it's also really terrible, because they're being controlled by the government, they don't have enough to eat, even though they all are getting the same, they're all living in these tiny, terrible apartments that are just, that are falling apart and won't be fixed. And so that's really important too. Like they they were aiming for a utopia where everyone was equal, but what happened is, is not that. They created a dystopia. And there's a whole lot of dystopian novels out there. The Giver is another one, Animal Farm. And, oh, Pretty as Uglies and Specials, that's one I read when I was in middle school. That's another dystopian novel. Um, And they all are under the category of, like, science fiction fantasy because they, they show what happens often in the future when technology has evolved to a point where we can use it to manipulate our surroundings, to change our surroundings, and there's a government that is in control in a different way than it is right now and dystopias are often a warning like if society continues this way this might be what happens like with 1984 big brothers watching you I mean we have cameras everywhere everywhere you look there are cameras and so that's really important because it is like sometimes we are in 1984 where there are we're constantly being watched on the street. We're not being watched in our houses all the time. I mean, when we're on our phones or on our computers, our data is being tracked, like the websites we visit and visit and stuff like that. Um, Especially Google tracks that um, and then tries to gear ads towards you in that way. And I know things pop up on my YouTube that I've researched on Google and stuff like that. So in some ways we are being watched as well in our own homes. Um, And so that's really important because 1984 is a warning. Like, this is what will happen if we continue down this road. And it was written in 1948. It was the the numbers were switched. George Orwell wrote it in 1948 and then switched the numbers to 1984. That's how he created the title of the novel and the time period that he wanted to write in, which is important, especially because 1984... Uh, George L. Orwell wrote wrote it right after World War II ended, and so there's a lot in there based on World War II. For example, we have the children that we just saw uh, and how they were yelling like thought criminal at Winston and t- calling him a traitor and things like that. They're in a group called the Spot the Spies, and this is very similar to the Hitler Youth in Nazi Germany, where the kids were enrolled in this program 
And they had to. They, the parents had to enroll their children. Otherwise, the government threatened to take the children away. And the kids were basically given tons of Nazi propaganda, like this, this is what Nazis believe, and taught that, and were taught to put the state and the government above their family. And so people in the Nazi, in the Nazi youth group, they, um, a lot of them would turn in their own parents if they were doing something that was against the Nazi government. So you see that here. Um, Big Brother is meant to actually look like Joseph Stalin. Um, Sometimes Big Brother, like when you look at it, he has the Hitler stash. If you look up pictures of him online, he wasn't meant to be based off of Hitler. He was meant to be based off Joseph Stalin. Um, He was also a player in World War II and was the leader of the Soviet Union. So... Yeah, it's, I mean, 1984 is very based on what was going on during World War II. And if you know anything more about it, um, I want you to try to keep track. <laughs> I definitely want you to try to keep track. You can always ask your history teachers, too, about it, about World War II as well. Um, okay, so that's really important. Okay, I think I'm going to end this video here. I am going to talk about equality versus equity in another video that you have to watch this week. Okay, I'll see y'all soon. Bye.